welcome to the No BS VA Guide. My name is Dion Slater and in this video I am going to go through with you five reasons why virtual assistants don't make it. Instagram and LinkedIn is absolutely full of inactive virtual assistant accounts. These are from people who set up as a virtual assistant and quit after a few months or even a few weeks. Now, I want to go through with you the most common reasons why this is so you can avoid quitting and you can have a virtual assistant business that not only makes you super happy, but makes you a lot of money as well. But before we get on to that, if you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe to this channel for weekly videos where I'll help you create a successful and sustainable virtual assistant business that changes your bloody life. So reason number one, they didn't show up consistently. Guys, this is your business and Rome wasn't built in a day. Your business won't be either. You have to show up consistently. Also, if you're super inconsistent, it's not exactly going to build trust with your potential clients that you would be there for them consistently if you can't even be there for yourself. Finally, if a potential client stumbles upon your account and you haven't posted in a few weeks or even longer, they'll probably assume you've quit and moved move on to find another virtual assistant. So remember, you have to be consistent. Number two, they just didn't put the work in. I see this time and time again. Virtual assistants will work on their business sporadically or maybe for say three or four hours a week and they're wondering why they're not seeing incredible results. Guys, it is incredibly rare to have an overnight success, okay? Businesses take work. They're probably going to take a bit of blood, sweat and tears, but it can so be worth it. By having your own business, you can achieve happiness, freedom, flexibility, financial freedom, like you would never ever get in your nine to five. So just put the bloody work in. Number three, and this is a really, really important point to consider. Many virtual assistants will actually put the work in and they may work on their business for hours and hours each week, but they still don't see results. And the reason why is because they've actually been working on the wrong things. There is a real difference between being busy and being productive and the thing is updating your website or your branding yet again sure it's a nice thing to do and it might make you feel busy but it's not the thing that's going to get you the results and get you those clients in. You need to be working on the right things such as creating incredible content and networking. Getting yourself out there. And FYI, by networking, I don't necessarily mean go to those business network meetings in your local area. Although some of them can be great. There are various ways of networking. Number one, make sure you tell your friends, family and their mum that you are a virtual assistant. Because at the end of the day, if people don't know you exist, why will they hire you? And you can also be networking daily online as well. So remember, there are various ways in which you can network and you should be doing that daily. Reason number four, they forgot why they started their virtual assistant business. Why did you start your VA business? Was it for more freedom, for more money, to see your kids more? Whatever your reasons why, you have to remember them when things get tough because Things can get tough in business. I mean, that's just business at the end of the day. It's not all rainbows and unicorns. And finally, number five, they just didn't invest in themselves. Guys, investing in yourself, in your development, in your learning is so, so important. And you should be doing it all the time. The thing is, okay, there will never be a right time for you to invest. So you might as well just go for it now because that excuse is a super common one. But you know what? It's usually bullshit. And look, I get it. You can't afford it right now. Neither could I. But I made damn sure I found a way because I was so sick of not hitting my business goals when I first started my own VA business. Look, at the end of the day, running a business can be hard bloody work. If it was easy, everyone would be doing it but they don't you have taken the leap you have the courage you have started your virtual assistant business or you might even just be thinking about it but you have to be prepared for things to get tough sometimes because they will but when it happens I don't just want you to quit because having your own business can absolutely change your bloody life look just three years ago I was depressed I was in debt I was in a job that I absolutely hated now I absolutely love what I do I make good money and I'm happy. Yes, my life is not perfect, but oh my God, it is a million miles away from where it was three years ago. And I want the same thing for you too. So that is all from me this week. Please don't become one of the thousands of virtual
virtual assistants that quit this month, you can absolutely do it. And if you want more support and guidance on how to become a super successful virtual assistant, check the links below and I'll speak to you soon.